one of the things that I'm a little sad about is when I have these meetings with people uh, getting ready for funerals, and they've got wonderful things to say about their mom, their, their dad, their sister, brother, and then I'll say, well, tell me, do you know how they came to know the Lord? And very rarely do they know the story. That always makes me a little sad because I, I think, well, you should know that story. I wish they would have told you. So here's my challenge for you. Write it down. Some of you I know have because you've shown it to me, but write it down somewhere and, and give it to your, your kids, anybody who needs to know, who you'd like to know. Not just the story of your conversion, because frankly, the story of my conversion is not that interesting, uh, but the story of what God's done for you. Stories of, that say, this is how I know God is real. This is, these are times that he has acted in my life. Here we are, we're people who have experienced the greatest miracle of all. Jesus came in and rescued us when we were dying and besieged by sin. Uh, he raised us from the dead and seated us with him in the heavenly places. He took us from slavery and adopted us into his family. Why don't we want to tell that story to more people? Why don't we act excited about that? It makes you wonder, doesn't it? The devil's really done a number on us when we think that, you know, a 10th inning home run last night is more interesting than what God's done in our lives.